In this video, we're going to have a look at doing the first floor construction, and we're going to do it out of a timber construction. So I'm going to go to the first floor plan. There we go. Now we can currently see this is not set to the detail level of the previous one we were looking at. So in the bottom left hand corner of your screen next to the scale, you can change the detail level and I'm going to put it on fine because I like to see the hatching and the construction. So then architecture tab, floor command. And we can change the floor construction. So floor timber. OK, this uses a 225 joist. I think I'm going to change mine down to a 195 joist instead. So again, I duplicate and change the name to suit the construction. Oh, cool. Not 155, 195. All right. Say OK. Edit the structure. Now you'll notice on this one, there's actually no plasterboard underneath, which of course I do want on this one. So I've got 195 for the thickness of the joists. I'm going to leave the floorboards. OK, let's just we got a chipboard flooring by there. We'll just leave that as that. But what we want to do is insert a new row and then move it down so the core boundary stays either side of the joists. And this we're going to make finish number finish layer. The plasterboard. So if we go to plast, OK, so it brings up some options. So we could just do plaster or gypsum warboards. I'll do a gypsum warboard. There we go. Say OK. And I'm just going to change that to 12 millimeters. And say OK. OK, so that's the construction of our floor. Click OK. Now we want to check uh, pick walls, boundary line. That's all good. The level of the wall and the properties is set to the first floor. So that's good as well. So we'll start off by clicking on these external walls. Apart from the one where the staircase is, I'm not going to click on that one. What I'm going to do by here, I'm actually going to draw around the stairs. So I'm going to use the line command instead of the pick walls. Now this is the top of the stairs by here. Now it doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom. We just need to make sure we've maintained a suitable head height. Um, therefore, what I might do is actually start by here, come out to this step. And then this. Press escape and I'll just join that up with the trim command in a minute. And then get on the end of this line and go down to there. And then escape out of that. Use the trim command to tidy up the corners. And then I'm going to use the trim command as well as cutting bits off. You can use it to actually join segments together as well like that. OK, so now we have one continuous boundary for our staircase uh, floor construction. Um, it's very important that we do have that one continuous boundary. If you have lines crisscrossing or extra lines, it won't. It'll bring up errors and then you'll have to adjust it. So you want that one continuous pink line. I'm going to click the tick. Would you like the walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? So the walls that we've drawn downstairs, do we want them to stop at the underside of floor construction? We do, because if we don't attach them, they're going to actually come right up and you'll see the outline of those 
with the block work coming onto the plasterboard, onto the floorboards, and we don't want that. So we'll attach them. Now it's asking you about where the floor goes into the wall. And as with the ground floor, we want to cut away the plaster on wall where the floor is so that the floor goes straight against the block work. So yes, we do. It's highlighted it at the moment. Let's look at it in 3D. Now I've left it highlighted so we can just see the boundary of our floor. And we can see what's happening by here. Now we have got a few little issues. Um, namely our wall by there we need to tidy that little bit up so i think what i'll do is i will rejig the floor to actually sort that problem out for us now while we're looking at this there are a few things we can see as well this wall here could do with going up to the full height or having a plasterboard wall created over the top of it. So what I'm gonna do is we will sort that out when we get to it. And let's edit this floor across the top of that wall by there. So I'll click the edit boundary while the floor is still selected. Go back to first floor plan, but I can't really see quite where the wall is here. So I'm going to look in the properties of the view. Ah, I'd like to put the underlay. Okay, so I'll just escape out of that a minute, click off the floor, and then when nothing is selected, go to the properties, select underlay, and we'll put the ground floor as an underlay. And now we can see that construction. So I can now click on the floor, edit the boundary, and just move these pink lines these boundaries to there. So I'll just draw new boundaries. I think what I'll actually do, just change it a little bit and do that instead. And use the trim command to tidy up those. Yes, there we go. And now when we look at it in our 3D view, it looks much neater and tidier. And what we can do is put a banister around that little section after we've done, um, just to stop people falling off basically. So let's have a look at that on our first floor plan. I'm gonna turn the underlay off now because it's gonna look cluttered otherwise. There we go. Let's go to railing and sketch path. It brings up the type of railing by here. So there's a few options. Do a 900 millimeter railing. And I'll just start it by there, come across and take it down to there. And let's have a little look at that. Now we can see the railing, it's okay, but the gaps in it are quite large. So let's have a little look at editing the type of this railing. And we can just edit it straight away, but I'm gonna duplicate it first. I'll just let this one be 900 number two, and then we can distance from previous. Um, well, we don't want 275, we'll say 100. Okay. And there we go, we can see now that's a much safer stair banister to stop people sticking their heads through and falling down and hurting themselves so that 